Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how to extract a tune from your car with your HP Tuners module. Uh, we'll, the candidate car today is a beautiful Whipple powered SRT 392. Okay, so the first thing we do is we hook up either the MPVI OBD2 cable or the MPVI2 in itself is an OBD2 cable, so we're just going to go ahead and use this port is underneath your dash right here. I know it's going to be hard to see on video, but uh, you can feel the port. You'll notice that the cable uh, has a narrow end. Narrow end normally goes, points towards the driver's side of the car. Think I do it? I do it enough. There we go. Okay, now that the VCM suite software has been successfully installed, and we've pinned the VCM editor and VCM scanner programs to our taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and click on VCM editor and we're going to plug in our MPVI2 module to our USB port and the USB cable to the MPVI2 module. You'll see a green power light and a blue uh, Bluetooth light light up momentarily on the MPVI2 module. Uh, the green power light should remain on and you may get a prompt here of installing drivers if you're laptop does not have the correct drivers installed already. So assuming your USB is plugged into your laptop and your MPVI2, uh, let's go ahead and click on VCM Editor. And this is what you're going to see. This is the screen, the main screen for VCM Editor. We're going to click on the Help button. So now in, in the event that you have a standard module and not an MPVI2, you're going to need to come down here and click on MPVI Application Keys and you're going to need to add the application key that we sent you here. You can copy and paste it out of the email or manually type it. Um, but in most cases, folks are going to be using the MPVI2. So all we need to do is resync it. So you have to have internet connectivity to do this. It's going to go out to uh, HP Tuner server, grab the credits assigned to your MPVI2 module, and verify them. So you will see the lights flash on your MPVI2 while the resync is in process. And you will get a status of what's going on. And once the firmware update is complete, you click OK. And you will see that the resync is completed. Uh, in this case, this is a two credit module from our website. So you will see two credits if you're purchasing more credits or if you're tuning, say, a Hellcat and you're purchasing a TCM tune from us as well. You will have purchased a six credit unit and a six credit shown up here. So assuming this has worked successfully for you, you want to hit close. And we're going to go ahead out to the car now and plug this in and do a read. We're now situated in the car. I have my MPVI2 module plugged into the OBD2 port. I have my USB cable plugged into my MPVI2 and into my laptop. Actually, I don't have it plugged into my laptop. I'm going to plug it in right now. And if it's the first time you plug this in, you might get a notification saying it is. It's recognized it. If it doesn't recognize it, you might get a little icon down here or a pop up saying that it's installing uh, the drivers for this particular USB device. But ours are already installed. Uh, we're connected, we heard it recognize it, so let's go ahead and connect to this vehicle. So the first thing you want to do is click on the wrench or the VCM editor icon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start HP Tuner. So this is what the VCM editor screen looks like when we first start it up. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is read the vehicle. You'll see two icons that you will be using when using email tunes from me. This icon will be for reading the vehicle. And this icon will be for writing to the vehicle. At this time, we don't have a file open. This is grayed out, so we can't write anything. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and read this vehicle. Now, this box is going to pop up. It's an information vehicle, um, dialog box. There's nothing in it yet. So the first thing we want to do is turn the key on, which we have the key on now. And we're going to click Gather Info. Okay, gather information returned with information on this particular vehicle. This is an automatic transmission equipped car and you'll see there's two modules. One is for the PCM or ECM and the other is for the transmission control module. If you paid for a PCM and a TCM tune, you're going to want to read entire and read calibration. If you only paid for a PCM tune and did not pay for me to do a transmission control module tune, you're going to want to select do not read. 
So I'm going to go ahead and read both of these for those that are buying both of these tunes and click read. Now this process is going to take some time. Um, on the newer cars, you're looking at probably a total time of 12 to 13 minutes to read both the TCM and the PCM. So we'll come back as soon as this is completed. Okay, the read of the PCM has completed and it's going to ask us to turn off the ignition, wait 10 seconds, and then turn it back on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we've turned the ignition on and it will go to read the next controller. Okay, again, we're going to get prompted to turn the ignition off, wait 10 seconds, turn the ignition back on. So we have the ignition off, we're going to wait 10 seconds. Turn the ignition back on, click OK. And the read's completed. So now what it's going to ask us is where we want to save this tune file. And I prefer to create a folder specifically for tune files. So in this case, I'm going to create it. I've already created this folder under a folder called DCX. And I've created a folder called Scat Pack. And I create two folders here, originals for the tune that I'm reading, the original tune, and then a folder called OST for the email tunes uh, that I will be sending you. Now, you can do it whatever way you want. You can save these off to your desktop. That'll be fine. Uh, if you're, if you're, I'm remote tuning several cars for you. Sometimes it's nice to break it up by you know, type of car, model, whatever works best for you. So anyhow, I'm going to click on originals, and I like to date the files so I already have the file saved here but um, I created a file called 8118 original read and that's what we're going to save it off as 8.1.18 original read you can call it whatever you want it's just nice to have a good point of reference so it's asking me to replace it since it already exists <clears throat> okay so now I've saved that file off that original read file so the next step is for you to send that tune file to me. So what you're going to want to do is open up your email tool, whatever that may be. I happen to use the Microsoft Outlook. And once that opens up, you're going to want to send an email to mike at ostdino.com. You're going to want to title it Original Read. And you're going to want to attach the file that you just saved off to that email. So this computer's a little slow, but okay. So I'm going to click new email. Click two is going to be to Mike. Stdino.com. Uh, it's going to be original read. That's what I'm going to title the subject. And I'm going to go ahead and attach the file. So I'm click on attach. I'm going to go to the location where I save this. So I'm going to scat pack, originals, and original read. Just verify that the tune file did get attached and hit send. Okay, so now once I receive uh, this email, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to program it for your specific application. And then I'm going to attach that new email and it's going to be set have the date and it's going to say OST startup and I'm also going to attach another file and it's going to be a channels file to help you data log so I sent this to myself let's see if I can find it and here's what it looks like it'll be from OST dino tune file and configuration channel so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and here's what you're going to see you're going to see a new tune file and you're going to see a channels file so you're going to want to select both of these files and you're going to want to save them however you can. Right mouse click in Microsoft Outlook and save as. And I'm going to go to the directory where I save these files, where, I'm, um, where I created to save these files. I'm going to put them right here. I've already done this, so I'm going to get that message. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, now I'm going to go ahead and open up HP Tuners again. I actually kept the VCM editor open. We're going to connect your MPVI2 to the car. 
a USB to the MPVI2, uh, and then the USB cable into your laptop. Turn the key on, the ignition on, on the run position in your car. You're going to go to File, Open. You're going to go to the folder where we saved this, or OST, and we're going to select this file, OST Start. Okay, so we've opened the tune file that I've emailed you. We're going to select the, we've opened VCM Editor, and we're going to go ahead and select Write. Okay, so now we're going to write the tune file. We're going to select the right vehicle. And you'll notice right calibration is the default, and we're going to select right. Basically 20 seconds, and then follow the instructions, turn the ignition off for 10 seconds. And after the 10 seconds, we're going to go ahead and turn the ignition on, click OK. And we're done. The tune is in the car. Okay, so the next step, we've written my startup tune to the car. We're done with VCM Editor. So we're going to go ahead and close. Well, we'll leave that open and go ahead and start VCM Scanner. And this is our data logging tool. So again, key on. Um, what you're going to do is we're going to try to add, load and all the individual PIDs that I want to track information on so that I can update your tune. So you're going to go to this folder under channels. There's a folder here. You want to click on it. And you want to select, oops, it easy. You want to select open channel config. And this is where you're going to refer to that uh, channels file that included in the email with your startup tune. So we saved this under this directory. And here is the channels file. You double click on that. And it will populate this side of ECM scanner with the PIDs that I need to monitor. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to ask you to data log a cold start, a hot start, a drive. And if everything looks to be in line, I'm going to ask you to give me a two to three second wide open throttle hit. And what I'm looking to do is to make sure that the power enrichment fueling is coming in and, and that information is captured in this data log. So to start this process, I'm going to want you to click the red start scanning button. I'm going to want, want you to wait until this dialog box is completed and we're actually data logging. So it's collecting information from your computer. Now it has everything it needs. Your RPM box is at zero, and we're going to go ahead and fire the car up. And so you can see it is data logging. Um, some key information I'm going to be looking at is your short term fuel trims, uh, your engine cooling temp, air charge temp, and a bunch of other information that I will need to get your tune dialed in properly. So, um, again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Um, I'm going to want you to take it for a cruise. Um, and then a brief wide open throttle hit. And then what I want you to do when you're done, you want to click on this blue square. It says stop scanning. So now we've stopped the scan. However, we need to save this off so that you can send it to me. So we're going to click on this icon, save log file as. And I would recommend saving it in the same directory where I sent your startup to. So we have this OST directory. And... I already saved this once, but I'm going to go ahead and save it again. I'm going to call it 8.1.18. Dot dot Startup 2. Save the file. Okay, so that file saved. So now what we need to do is go back to our email tool. And what you need to do is fire off a new email to me, Mike at ostdino.com and call it startup tune data log what I want you to put in here is any other information that would be helpful uh, did you have trouble starting the car uh, was there any surging was there any unusual items that occurred when you loaded the startup tune that I need to adjust in the tune put all that information here in the email and then you need to attach that log so attach go to the location where you saved this data log. I saved it under OST. And you can see 8118 startup tune. This is the file that we just saved. So click on that and hit send. 
and that's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions on this process, uh, put them below in the, the comments. Thanks a lot.